How we doing guys, myself Chris Preddy, OBE, here in your real quick one. Real Talk True Season. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a different post today guys. I wanted to talk a little bit about substance and you know sometimes that even myself, you know, you might see me on social media and I, I might be shouting about a topic or an issue or being passionate about something but I've realised that sometimes people don't understand the real people from behind the picture and we have substance, we have knowledge, we have so much information to give, but sometimes feel like people are not gonna welcome it. We sit there and say sometimes maybe like, you know, it's way too overhead, so we're undermining people sometimes and making them feel like they're not gonna understand and not gonna get the certain processes and the nuances of life. And I feel like we are breaking down within relationships. And I wanted to sit there and talk a little bit about relationships only because I feel like just going on to the last post and someone was sitting there saying, you know, it was made up, it was pretend. And I love the fact that we say that and we can shut things down when we say that it was a joke, it was funny, it was wrong. But these are a the lot of things that tend to happen day in and day out. And I think that we don't learn to know ourselves a little bit more. I think we don't have the substance to understand what we feel as men. I feel like as men and right now that I'm talking to a lot of you men in the sense of we tend to feel like by sitting around other men I was just doing the zoom and shout out to all the guys that jumped onto the zoom and there was something that kept on coming up and when I'm hearing it and when I'm hearing it I mean by real men showing real substance in the sense of them feeling worried, them feeling the pain, them feeling hurt, them feeling there's days where like feeling less of a man is by crying less of a man is showing emotions less of a man is not being able to understand why he feels the way that he feels but why don't we ever ask the question and i want to talk about relationships because i want to ask guys right now is why don't we ever speak up why don't we ever speak up to a point where there's certain things that we do within relationships that we can understand that we don't not saying that we don't want it but we're not there yet you know, like whether it's marriage, whether it's having a child, you know, there's certain things that we innately do just because we think it's the right thing to do. And I feel like we need to speak up and people need to start expressing themselves a lot more. And there's a lot of women out there that do similar things, you know, like you're with a guy and you don't want to express to him that, you know what, you're doing things wrong. Or you know what, I you're not setting the right boundaries, you know, and if you don't set the right boundaries, you only accept what you allow. And I feel like a lot of us sometimes don't like to sit down and have substance anymore. Sit down and talk. Everything's all about what she can give, what he can give, what that person can offer, what that person looks like, how's that person walking, how's that person talking. But just because that person's talking doesn't mean that we have to take everything at face value and gospel. And what hurts me is I'm in a position of my life now where I feel like I don't want to show so much to people. I, I feel like I don't want to show you my substance. I don't want to show that because if I show you everything, that means that you can easily have taken advantage. But at the same time, it lets other people know that does he have substance? Is that person understanding who that person is? And it's like, we need to take the understanding of just what we see on the outside is not what is reflected and there enough in the inside. And that is just material things that we feel like is a necessary that we need to have. If you're in a relationship, and you keep being in basically bad relationships, bad understandings, you know, whether it's domestic violence, domestic abuse, whether it's violence through our sense of both of you are just being very, very addicted to each other, then you've got to understand of who the common minority is. I hear too many women like, oh, not me. What, babes, you know what I'm saying? He's a waste man. He was a dickhead. Rare, rare. Six years, you know, I've been, to, I've been by myself for six years. Six, six years, babe, six years. No, that means that you're, you're gone off. You're still by. Yeah, like, like, you're done out here. Like, I'm not going to lie. You're gone off, you ladies. You're gone off. You know what's there? Because she ended up saying that he's married, he's got another kid, but you're calling him a waste man, but you spend six years and no one don't want you. No one don't want you. Why? Why is no one not want you? Why have you not understand? So that means that that might be an understanding of you're not ready for a relationship. That might be an understanding that you're not allowing yourself to have a relationship. But this is a lot of things of self-progression. Like a lot of our stuff is well quick and easy to one point the finger and quick and easy to, to justify the reasons why you're not doing what you think that you can do to progress yourself. I think a lot of the times we're always pointing the finger at everybody else and, and it's quite interesting because I hear the guys say, you know, hey man, man will, man will sleep with that thing, but man will beat that cuz, man will beat that, but man will never wife that. So why are you so tired? Why are you putting so much energy and so much time into this woman knowing that you're never going to make her your queen? You're never going to wife her. Why are you giving her that false imputation of maybe there's a possibility that she might get there, that she might be able to sell that shit with you? And I think like a lot of the times we, we don't tend to feel like we deserve love as well. I think a lot of us, myself and others, you know, like I'm running around helping so many people and I'm like, well, maybe I don't deserve love. Maybe like... I'm out here to my purpose is out here to help others and everything because that just means like it's too good to be true. Why can't it just be good? 
and true. And I think for me, I just wanted to do a different post and sit down and be like, let's talk about substance. Let's talk about the reality. Let's talk about clothes, the Facebook right now and the looks and the likes and the shares and man's turning up, the Gucci on the wrist and rare, rare, the bando, all these kind of stuff. Let's tear that away and look at substance. Let's tear that away and look at the inner person within us. And a lot of us are crying out for help. A lot of us are feeling lonely. A lot of us, like a lot of our men are suffering through mental health. Suicide rate is so, so high in men. So it's funny how we always see men as, oh, turn up. That man are gang, gang, drinking Magnum. But they're the ones that are suffering in silence. There's so many men that shrug it off and go on like they don't care when they really, really do. There's so many women that sit there and say, oh, I'm happy, I don't need a man, and all the rest of it. Well, that's what we've been programmed and trained to be. So how can a guy have foundation? How can a guy have anything to fall back on if every single time that he gets with a woman, he's looking for that stability? He doesn't have nowhere to stay, so when he finishes that relationship, he jumps into another relationship to find stability. Now, he might have a child with you. He might be in a relationship in the sense of you're trying to look for him to get stability and all the rest of it, but he doesn't have nowhere. So he chooses another girl. He gets stability with her. You're looking at it like, bro, what, you think my child's going around that house and all the rest of it? He's only thinking of a logical understanding in the sense of I have nowhere else to go. So these are the kind of things that we, we suffer in silence without even actually speaking up and actually talking about how do we support ourselves? How do we support our men to making sure that they do have a fuck, the house, they do have somewhere for the children to sleep. They do have somewhere where you feel safe, where you feel supported in the sense of he's not just taking them around any girls yards or just taking them around the mum's house and everything. So relationship falls onto why. My whole question about this post is why do you wanna be in a relationship? Stop being in a relationship because you feel like you're getting old. Stop being in a relationship because you feel like you want to have kids. Stop being in a relationship before you feel like your time is running out. And ask yourself, really, why? Why do I want to be in a relationship? Welcome to Unapologetic. Here are our services. The Village, an online community. You Good, online support for men. Big Sis, online support for women. Be part of the Unapologetic conversation. Join us today at www we are unapologetic.co.uk